Okay. Hello, dear friends. Good afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. And it's perfect for a cup of tea. And uh, just don't know, for some reason, <laughs> we all have this time. You feel lost. And uh, I decide to do some... Uh, oh, let's uh, start with the tea first so that we can talk. Okay. So I will do some uh, um, calligraphy writing. Yesterday, yesterday, I did some calligraphy, grinding ink. Good. OK. So this time, <laughs> I will use this. Um, uh, only use a Mac. Oh, look at the color. Look at, did you see it? Wow, wow. Isn't it fun? And it's quite windy outside. So I use this lavalier that uh, get my voice from uh, under my neck. Oh, here, this is it. Okay, here it is. Wow, look at it. Oh, slowly. <laughs> comes out. Okay, so so I want to do just a, a few things I want to chat with you. Let me uh, put it down a little bit so we are a little bit closer and more comfortable just to chat. Are we good? Okay, I think this is good. We can enjoy the tea, and the calligraphy is ready. And uh, when I um, when I do calligraphy, I will not do any uh, talking. I don't think I will do any talking. And uh, it's a calligraphy in in my culture or in any culture. I think calligraphy is the highest art. I know a lot of people think differently and say differently. In Chinese art, calligraphy is the highest art. And people will say high art does not have a, a high or low. But uh, the, I think, I heard the traditional way of thinking, it does have a level. Calligraphy is so pure. There is no color. There is no shape. There is just the pure skill and the pure meditative quality and very, very pure. So it's a very high art form. I think Western calligraphy also, it's a very high art form because there's nothing to compensate it. There is nothing to uh, améliorer, there is nothing uh, to improve it, it's very pure, very solid. You have the skill, you have the skill. You do not have, you do not have. So before I start, I will say my sorry, my regret. And if you are Chinese, 如果你是中国人看到我写字, 请多包涵, 请多包涵. 我知道我的字很臭, 很不好, 但是如果不练, 那就会更臭, 更不好。而且就是我们的本领不好<笑> So uh, before that, uh, I will just uh, um, bring out something. I feel very ashamed of my skill, and I feel very ashamed of uh, doing this kind of calligraphy video because I'm so not good. And, um, and, uh, but if we do not practice, we will be even worse. And I think everyone has the right to practice. So I will be just so shameless to practice. 
and show you that I practice. <laughs> Another thing I want to talk about is that, uh, <clears throat> so today I made a video of dressing in this beautiful dress, and uh, I think it's a beautiful dress. I dressed it, uh, um, I wore it four years ago, and on Facebook, it popped up that picture. So I was thinking, why not make a comparison? So I did another one, wearing the same dress. And four years ago, I have dark hair, pale skin, lighter skin, not so pale. And now I have light hair, darker skin. So, <laughs> so I did that. And I think some friends do not like it. And maybe I offended some friends. And they say it's just to show off or something. So <laughs> I'm sorry, I have no, um, no intention to, to, to make everybody feel bad or to make, to, to, to show off. It's just, I was wearing this for for the whole summer the whole summer always the same dress i was thinking today maybe i should change something new well <laughs> if friends do not like it so i change it back i wear this one and the other one the same style but different color always always today i wear this tomorrow another one and wash it and then keep on wearing it <laughs> Okay, that's about that. And also, when I write calligraphy, you see I wear this sleeve, only one arm. When I do computer, you know, when you do computer, you like this gaming sleeve or something, so I wear this. And especially when you walk, walk on calligraphy, your hand will be touching the tabletop very often. Your tabletop, no matter how, <coughs> how comfortable, how good your tabletop is. But if your hand always touching it, it's not comfortable, so you wear a sleeve. And uh, <clears throat> I have different kind of sleeves, some, some my son's left over, some sun protection sleeve, so I use them. So let's get started. Ready? That's good, huh? How beautiful. Oh, this should be the screenshot of this video, I think. Or maybe when I do calligraphy. <laughs> this is uh, uh, La Rue Barbe à Papa, Papa Elephant. And there is uh, fraise, framboise, and Rue Barbe. So, uh, strawberry and uh, raspberry and um, and uh, rhubarb mm. shameless you are shameless yes you are i know okay are we in the right zoom i think so Avi, let me wear my glasses and see my hand if we are in, the, I think we are in the right zone. Okay, so um, good, good. Okay, so this is a felt. I think it's, um, it's a felt from, uh, from gold here, from lamb them here, yes. And uh, this felt has some oil in it, the natural oil, natural fat, not oil, natural fat from, uh, from the fiber, make it water resistant or water repellent. You have a drop of water, the water will run around. Or maybe they have sprayed something, but anyway, this is kind of water repellent. So it's perfect for uh, calligraphy practice because Chinese painting, you use, uh, you use this kind of very thin paper, rice paper is very absorbent. 
So this way, uh, oh my goodness. Okay, so um, when you do uh, a calligraphy painting, uh, calligraphy drawing, sorry, <laughs> uh, you need something to be back on it. And paper, this is a soft, but not too soft like your bed. And under it is hard. And then with a layer of a tiny bit softness, so your hand works better with it works better with uh, with your hand with your brush movement with your brush strength if you put strength on it it will bounce you back but with a little bit of more resistance are we in the right room i guess i think so this is why i use it and for a long time i didn't use it so I decide to take it out. Why not, right? And I do sell it on my Etsy shop, actually. And I will look at some of my... Uh, oh, this is so good. This must be my mother's book. If this is my mother's book, then this is a book. of 40 years. I am not sure if I can write like this style. Maybe I will give it a try. Fang Wei Ti. Liu Gong Quan Zheng Kai. I usually do this kind of style. Liu Gong Quan Zheng Kai. But this seems a little bit small for today's writing. Zhao Ti Shou Chun Tang. This is very pretty, but I am not yet reaching to Xing Shu stage. 我还不太会写行书,更不要说草书。赵提楷书，书中，这个也是哦，这个是我写的，以前写的，纯真之美。写完了以后做成书签儿。The beauty of innocence, I love it. 这个是欧体九成功，哦，这个。好像有点小了。唐人楷书，这个又有一点大了。What is this？这是我们中国的小孩小时候学书法的书。呃，我小时候五岁的时候。爸爸妈妈要求每天用大字报写一天用旧报纸折一下写一篇我爸爸写字好他说小时候他写红纺的时候老师老给他打红圈唐人楷书这个有点小了米芾米芾在有一点太高级了实用书法转 哦，这个挺好看，但是有一点儿，也又有一点小，实用速成。这个有一点太大了。那咱们今天写大的，这个看上去挺清楚的。OK，来我们做这一个，我用大楷写。还有你要写字的时候，你用的这个字贴，红
संग संग सी वो जुए जो हा यो शे जु दस हो चुग जु आ यो छु सी मिया यो जम फान मिया वो ये बन शे हो शे जु शे जु गु चाओ दे जु ये मिया दं शे जु दे ये मिया इवे 你写字，你喜欢它这个这个纸有这个牙，它它它有一点那个摩擦感。来，我们先试一下，如果不行，我就把这个给抹掉。这纸特别轻，我去拿一支镇纸给它压上。前两天刚磨好了墨。哎呀呀呀呀！请你不要跑啊！请你听话，不要跑。来，我们撕一些这个大纸。撕一些这个纸。来磨一磨墨，呵，这么啰嗦，<笑>我的老天爷<音> ！Not in the rush， <音>这个好像都是画画的。我不想把这个笔给用脏了。我去拿几支毛笔吧，专门写大字的。这个是画画的，不想给它弄脏了。这个有可能行。白云，等我拿一下啊。来一滴水，因为这个是咱们前两天磨过的。So this is what we have grinded a couple of days ago, and、uh, if you do not close it and let it dry, a couple of days later you can keep on using it. If you have cl closed it. It might becomes quite stinky because、uh, Chinese ink is made of、uh, of some natural、uh, glue, gelatin, natural kind of glue, and this natural glue includes fish gel, like you make chicken, the chicken soup. Becomes very, very little. Too much water, I think. Oh oh, it will make my felt even bad, even dirty. I do not want to do like this. Need something. More condensed, and the ink need to be soaked a little bit further. Gosh, we become grinding ink once over again. That is not what we want, right? We want to do stuff, not just to grind ink. Let me soak the ink a little bit. See how it goes. Are we good? Oh, oh, we are totally out of.、Uh, 
the rage. It's a little bit better, right? Okay. I should move a little bit further. The wind is quite uh, strong. not damage my table.
Okay, I will not care about you now.
今天就写了一个字儿，走一个字儿，六，走是这一个字儿。
So um, I have uh, written these three, and you can rinse this brush and uh, clean up a little bit. Or if you do not rinse, it's okay. It has some glue on it, but not the end of the world. Next time you soak in water and uh, for some time and press a little bit, it will be good. And uh, and because there is uh, the glue is not too much, and. Um, so it's your choice to wash it or not. The most important thing is to let your brush dry. And uh, never, ever, ever, never put back into, into this cup. Because when the brush is wet and you put into the cup, it becomes fermented. There will be mold coming up and uh, because they are the real life. Some uh, fish glue, some um, natural glue from animal skin or something. It's like we cook our food and like that kind of jelly or vegetable glue. Anyway, do not use uh, the cap. The cap is only for when I ship it out, when I sell it. So this is a medium white cloud and today, all I have done, usually, uh, this style is called liu. In Chinese, it means velo. And it has nothing to do with uh, the name of it. It's mostly the, the person, his family name is Liu, Liu Gongquan. But uh, just uh, coincidentally, this style of writing is very velo-y, flow-y, soft and tender. Usually this is good with a white cloud, something like white here, this flow quality. But today I feel I am more comfortable with this pure wolf here. Let me see if I can find another pure wolf here. Wolf here is... A I, it's a, uh, it's oh yes, this is, this is it. It's a, a Chunlang Hao pure wolf hair. So you can see it. It's a, a very beautiful, elegant brush. And there is not, it's relatively stiff. So you see my stroke is relatively straight and stiff. So that's about it. Keep on practice. And if you have, uh, I think this is my first page, yeah, this is my first page, second page, third page, and um, it takes time to get into the rhythm. And if you are a Chinese person, you can see this word,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽量,尽